This video is for informational purposes only. There are risks to jailbreaking your iDevice and it does void your Apple warranty. So think before you act. Hey guys, what's going on? Matt here from todaysiphone.com. Welcome to this week's edition of Jailbreak Tuesday where I cover all the latest jailbreak news. Without wasting any more of your time, let's get to it. So this week there really wasn't all too much news in the jailbreak community except for one piece of news which came from I Hate Snow, who has found a loophole in the A5 devices to allow them to downgrade from 5.1. This is fantastic because for me I've upgraded my 4S to 5.1 and now I can't downgrade. I Hate Snow has found a loophole and he hasn't told us when he'll announce it but at least we know there is a work on the way to allow us to downgrade. Also for those with the iPad 3 or third generation, the A5X processor, he said, will work as well as soon as a new firmware is out. So if you uh, upgrade to the newer firmware on the A5X processor, you'll still be able to downgrade uh, using the same method that the A5 devices are going to use through I Hate Snow's method. So as I mentioned, you guys, this week there really wasn't all too much jailbreak news, but I did wind up picking out a few tweaks for you guys to check out along with the Tweak of the Week winner. The first tweak we're checking out is BARS, and it's a tweak that allows you to see a more accurate iPhone signal when you look at your carrier signal up in the top left of your iOS device. The second tweak to check out is Sparrow Push. It allows for push notifications to the Sparrow Mail client, which you can download inside the regular App Store. The third tweak this week is App Update Notifier, which does exactly what the title says. It alerts you when an app you've downloaded from the App Store needs an update. In this week's edition of Jailbreak Tuesday, there was actually two winners of the Tweak of the Week, and this week, Attacher and Handsent SMS both won. Attacher won because it's a fantastic application that allows you to send any file type via iMessage. And the reason Handsent SMS won is because it's a superb application that is absolutely free and is an SMS replacement application just like Byte SMS except Byte SMS costs money. So go check out Handsent SMS. It is definitely a great alternative. It's been on Android for a while, and they brought a lot of those great features to iOS. So that's going to wrap up this week's edition of Jailbreak Tuesday. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the todaysiphone.com YouTube channel so you can see all of our latest videos, and be sure to leave your comments down below. I will reply. Also, in the description are all my social network links if you're looking to get in contact with me. Thank you guys again so much. You guys have a great day. Peace.